Gigio and Mina at the museum. It's spring. In this park, every season has its charm. But spring is especially magical. Flowers of all colors grow among the wild grasses. The whole park is covered in flowers, which fill the air with a wonderful scent. It's no surprise that this is Jicho's favorite season. Jicho is a brown bird. We call birds like Jicho flycatchers. They belong to the large family of sparrows. He's been living in the trees of this park since he was very young, but this park isn't like any other park. It surrounds a strange, tall building. Jicho doesn't know what goes on in this building. He's a bird, and nobody's told him what it's good for. But our brown-wicked friends is very curious. Every day, he flies over the building. He flies round and round it, having fun in the moat down below, and sometimes he lands on the roof and looks through the windows. One morning, as the sun is rising, Jijo finds a door ajar. Wow, a chance not to be missed. Our sparrow seizes the moment and flies in. Now that he's inside, how will Jijo find his way around? He's surrounded by boxes, cards and huge shelves. Suddenly, he hears a noise. He stops and listens. Hey, who's there? Who is it? Who's hurt our friend Jijo? The whistling is coming from an enormous box. Jijo gives three little taps with his beak and from inside comes a reply. Three little taps. So he begins to pack at the box with all his might and a small hole starts to appear. Jijo can't believe his eyes. On the inside is an enormous cage and it's filled with teeny tiny birds. These birds are the same size as Jicho, but they're a different color. And, shh, they're asleep. All of them, except for one. The bird's name is Mina, and she's a canary. All she wants is to explore the world. Mina squeezes through the hole to join her new friend and off they fly. Where will they go now that they have left the box behind? The mysterious building and everything in it lies before them. Jicho and Mina dart along the corridors, whirl around the spiral staircases, fly close to the windows and zigzag between the walls. They hop up and down on crazy stairs that lead in every direction. They swoop inside a statue with no head. They play hide and seek in the holes of a cave and produce a medley of clinging sound as they dance amid a tower of green bottles. At the end of a corridor, Mina and Jicho make their best discovery. <sighs> How beautiful, says Jicho. Hmm. I could go for a quick dip, replies Mina. She winks at Jijo and soaks her feet in the ink. In a white room, Mina and Jijo find themselves in front of a large wall. I want to draw too, says Jijo. He winks at Mina and puts his feet on the wall. And then, as the sun's rays start to turn red through the massive windows, the two friends saddle on a pile of earth, which seems to beckon them. Mina and Jicho are thrilled about their contribution to this place, but their curiosity isn't quite satisfied yet. There are still so many works of art to explore. Our two friends are sometimes amused, sometimes astonished or disgusted. And then, all of a sudden,
completely mesmerized. Here they are, in front of a photo that's bigger than a piano. A tuft of grass, a bright white sky, and for a moment, it seems like they can't move, as if they were hypnotized. Chicho and Mina just stand still for a while, looking at the beauty. And then, gently, very, very gently, Jijo raises a wing. He tries to touch the photo ever so lightly. But it's weird. Wait, what's happening? Instead of touching paper, cardboard, canvas, glass, Jijo's feathers caress the dump of grass. On her cheeks, Mina can feel a cool breeze that smells like fresh flowers. But it's impossible. And yet, the two friends stretch their wings, fluttering in the air with three little flaps, and fly away into the white sky. But do you remember the box where Gijo found Mina? There are many more boxes like that one. And do you know what's inside them? Lots more hidden works of art. Now and then, someone takes them out of their boxes and puts them in the corridors and the vast rooms of the building. And you? Have you guessed by now what the building is for? <laughs>